Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. I gotta give a little bit of a warning to you guys, okay? Just wanna say something. Just gotta put it out there. I'm gonna be doing more Star Wars action figures reviews. Yes, I said it. I said it. Not everybody here is a Star Wars fan. One thing I wanted to mention about watching Rogue One on opening night is during the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, which looked awesome on the big screen, uh, not as much of a big applause for Spider-Man as I thought there would be. One thing that kind of trips me out is that just because you're a Star Wars fan doesn't mean that you're a Marvel fan, and just because you're a Marvel fan doesn't mean that you're a Star Wars fan, but there are a bunch of us that meet right in the middle that love both, and I'm one of those people. So for those of you that are right in the middle and you love both, uh, expect some more um, Marvel Legends Star Wars figures <laughs> reviews. I don't really call them Marvel Legends anymore just because I feel like that's just mean now. But anyway, I do have uh, three things from the P.O. Box. There's actually I'm sure there's other stuff in there I didn't get to go buy there today, but I'm gonna go ahead and open some of these, ugh, open some of the stuff that I got from you guys right over here, and then I have some raffle giveaways that I will talk about in just a minute. So let's get to it and crack these things open. This is from Alex from Adara, California, and we'll turn this open. What do you guys think of my super short sleeve Ash vs Evil Dead shirt? I just put this on and I'm like, man, this is like super short. Sleeves over here. You can see my damn line and everything. Oh, look at this. Very well typed out and everything. Look at that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. All right. It says, to whom it may concern. Hello, my name is Alex Fields and I am an eighth grade student at Ranchos Middle School in Madera, California. We are doing a business letter unit in my English class. My teacher is allowing us to write into any business or organization of our choosing, and I choose you. I'm keeping up with that accent even though it's an 8th grader. I love the videos on your, you, on your YouTube channel, and they are really funny with Hummer that's on no other YouTube channel. I think he meant humor. This is supposed to be like a business letter for school, but I get technicy YouTube uh, is a uh, business you are a big inspiration to me and my YouTube, which is a stop-motion channel. Could you give me a shout-out to my channel? It's called Monster Marvel Stop Motions, and I only have 13 subs. Uh, Monster Marvel uh, Stop Motions. Check it out. Alright. This is not the first letter I sent. The last one had such a bad handwriting that you yelled at the camera in frustration, but it wasn't like bad. You were still being cool about it, so I decided to type this one out, which I do appreciate. That last letter was way back in Halloween 2015. My family was laughing at that old letter video. No period. Thank you so much for taking your time to read my letter. I look forward to hearing back from you soon. Sincerely, Alex Fields. Very nice, Alex. We got a little bit of spelling and a little bit of punctuation issues here and there, but, you know, for a business letter, not looking too bad, you know? So well to the point where it inspired a fancy voice, so you should be proud of that. And show this to your teacher in class. Uh, you should get, uh, not an A+, plus, bro, because there are some punctuation issues. I would give you, like, a B+, plus, A-, minus. alright? A-, minus. So you get an A-, yeah, B plus A minus. Yeah, I'll let your teacher decide. Anyway, I like giving grades and stuff like that. I don't really do that though when I teach my lessons. I just kind of like, oh no, do it again. No, no, that was not good. No, you know, kind of like that. Or oh, great, you know. So that's. But it's music lessons. It's a little bit different. Man, I wish they taught more music in schools. That would be that would be fantastic. Okay, this, there's no return address on the outside of this envelope, so I'm just cracking it open, and oh my goodness, we get a bunch of uh, cards over here, a bunch of trading cards and what nerds. Oh, we got Robbie Rob uh, Robbie Robertson, Dermiamu, Beast, Gibson, or Gibbon, Fire, uh, Fire Lord, Venom, uh, oh, and then, oh, okay, see, and then, oh, these are like the energy ones, Black Fox, aka Not Batman. That's totally not Batman right there. Clea. Some of these characters I'm not really too familiar with. Ant-Man. This is from the Kirkman. Ant-Man. Hulk. Ooh, this one's a hologram. Ooh, nice. And then we got a Ghost Raider. Ghost Raider. All right. And then the Dormammu looked pretty cool, too. Nice. There's Robbie Robertson and Beast. Pretty sweet cards. All right. So let's get to the Letar. Ooh, before I drop everything, put these right here. Thank you so much. And 
Again, another typed letter. And ooh, some artwork too. Hi, Shortimus! My name is Kristoff, and I am your big fan! I live in the Czech Republic. I love your reviews and stop motions. You inspired me to start collecting action figures, although it is not the most favorite hobby in my country. There are other few collectors. Uh, there are only few collectors, but there are more and more people interested in pop culture, so I hope in the future there will be more purchases, purchasers of action figures and statues. My favorite ones are Marvel Legends, Marvel Select, and DC Collectibles. Good choices, good choices. Also, I have some Transformers like Combiner Wars Devastator, oh, I love that figure, and some Transformers Prime and movie figures, but my most favorite universe is Marvel. Me too, man. Uh, I am really looking forward to see Logan movie and Thor Ragnarok. Also, in this envelope you can find some Spider-Man heroes and villains cards, so I hope you don't have them already, and I hope you will never end making videos on your YouTube channel because they are just awesome! Awesome! Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Alright, Krista, thank you so much for the cards, and we get Wolverine artwork right there with a blood dripping, because, you know, Logan's gonna be bloody, man. There's gonna be blood in that movie. I'm very excited. Okay, final package. Here we go. This one's from Thomas Arias from North Hollywood, California. That's kind of funny. I have a cousin uh, with the same last name that lives in a similar area. Hey, we got the popcorn thingies. Popcorn. That's a James Brown reference right there. Yeah, all right. And get, ooh, 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 ooh. It's a box. I can feel a box within the box. And then the letter. Okay, so there's a box. I'm going to open this in a second, but I'm going to read the letter first. Let me get the popcorn back inside the box right there. Styrofoam. Okay, here we go. Styrofoam everywhere. Alright, this is dated only December 19th. Okay, here we go. Dear Shortimus Prime, happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Uh, my name is Thomas and I am a fellow collector like you. I've been watching your videos for about three years now and always look forward to your videos for advice, laughs, and awesome stop motion. Thank you so much. Uh, so, in celebration of the big time no let down Spider-Man, here's a little something I hope you'll like. Your viewer, Thomas A. P.S. Can't wait for the Sandman Build-A-Figure review. It's gonna be sick! I liked that figure, and hopefully you checked out my Sandman review. Alright, Thomas, let's see what you got in here, man. It feels... Oh, another one! Sweet! Hey! Now I have one to stock. So, if... Alright! Thank you so much, man! This is sweet. A big time vinyl pop let down. I have to come up with like a full on name for this guy. But this is in full uh, vinyl pop, you know, collector casing and everything. Thank you so much, Thomas. This is great. So I, I don't mind having two of these. My friend, I just bought one for my friend Chu. He found one for me out in the wild and I bought it off of him. And now I can have that one open and then I can have this one in a case because I know these guys are collectibles and everything. Nice. Thank you so much, man. This is sick. Stealth suit. I think the paint came out a little bit better on this one. Just slightly different. I'll have to see again. But I will definitely be, re be reviewing the other one. And then I'll keep this one mint in case right over there. Thank you so much, Thomas. Very cool of you, man. You do not have to do that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Now on to the Patreon giveaway stuff. All right. And I can just hear people clicking away. Why, why does that always happen when I say the P word? What, what, what? I, don't, I don't get it. No, but I have some cool stuff coming your guys' way. Uh, if you're already a Shardimus Prime patron, you'll see my first exclusive review on Spider-Man Noir. The Marvel Universe Spider-Man Noir. That figure's been out for like a year now. And I never reviewed it, been wanting to review it, but figured it'd make a good Patreon exclusive. So if you're a patron, go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you become a patron at the at the $5 level or more in the next like few weeks or something like that, I'll send you the link anyway. And then, um, then I'll have, and then for, yeah, blah, blah. so anyway, moving on to the giveaway stuff. Uh, I have to keep this little book open right here so I have the names of the people that won the previous prizes ready to go so I don't do repeats. And the first raffle is going to be at the $1 level for the Marvel Legends Venom Mitten Guard Never Open, brand spanking new Marvel Legends Venom right there. All right, so here we go, and i got to shake this up. And the winner is from the dark room. This is going to Matt Gillard. If I pronounced your name right, Matt Gillard. 
All right, you have won the Marvel Legends Venom. So uh, I will contact you, or you can please contact me, either way. Um, and I'll get your shipping info and ship them on out right over to you. Now for the T-Shirt, for the T-Shirt giveaway. This is the 5 and $10 level right here. I'm going to do this one right there. A little shake, 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 shake. And, all right, this is... Uh, oh, same winner as last time, Jordan Lawrence. So I put this back right there. All right, do it again. And Jordan, please get back to me because I did not hear back from you. So I did contact you. Uh, please reply, Jordan, if you're out there. If you're out there, Jordan. All right, round two. And oh, this is going to Philip Crandall. Philip Crandall, you will get the Shortimus Prime T-shirt. So I ask you to send me your PayPal information, I send you the money, and then you go on the shirtmistprime.net slash store, and you get to pick out whichever shirt, and I whistle through my teeth sometimes, whichever shirt and whichever uh, design you would like. Then lastly, last time I did a giveaway for the 18-inch Christian Bale Batman, and the winner lived in the UK, and we discussed some things, and it turned out that it actually would have been cheaper for me to get to buy him uh, the seven-inch Batman from a scalper uh, over <laughs> from the scalper over there in the UK to get him the seven-inch version because this thing is very expensive to ship. It cost me like sixty dollars to ship it across the U.S. Uh, and to ship it to the UK would have just been ridiculous. Plus, he would you know would have been a little bit cheaper for me, a little bit better for him. So this one is still available. This would will be the the next raffle for patrons at the twenty-dollar level. So here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know why I got shaking so long. And this will go to Angel Echevarria. Echevarria, am I pronouncing it right? But uh, Angel Echevarria. I got to gringo it up a little bit, you know what I mean? Angel Echevarria. I don't know, I'm trying to, you know, be all sick with it and everything. But Angel, Angel. Please send me an email. I will send you an email and let you know, and then we can ship this out your way. If you're overseas, then we'll work out something else. Uh, then we'll do the same thing. You know, buy something for you on eBay, and then send it to your address and everything. And where I think what we did uh, uh, last time with Alan was, uh, I think he found the listing, got the quote, and then I PayPal the money to him. Then he just ordered it. And boom! There we go. Got your figure. Send stuff right back at you guys. It sends stuff my way. Okay, that's the way we roll the Charm Prime YouTube channel. If you guys want to send your letters and artwork, please do so at Charmus Prime PO Box 384, Pacifica, California 94044. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.